Okay, we're on the 2019 section B3. It's due with the Pilo Hotel, the glass uh, entrance at the front. It says, uh, figure B3 shows the plan and elevation of two surfaces A and B. The surfaces are identical and, in plan, and the plan is constructed on a square grid. Draw the plan and elevation uh, of the intersecting planes. They've given us a hint. They want us to draw the plan first. So I'll start with plan, then project the elevation. Then I need to determine the, heater, the dihedral angle between planes A and B. I'm going to start with those two sections. Now, I've drawn this over the right-hand side of the page, just to give me room on the left. This uh, question goes off the page very easily. Um, if that happens in the leaving cert, don't redo the question. Just get a sheet of paper, stick it onto your drawing sheet. Uh, the plan, 70 by 70 in plan. And then you've got 14 boxes made up of five millimeter sections. So you can see my plan there. I haven't drawn in all these green lines. There's no need for them. There's only four lines I need to go in. I've got the two vertical here and the two horizontal here. And that's how I can draw my diagonal to find this point here. Other than that, I just took the dots from the bottom, converted the dots up to here to find the two points for these, this line of plan. Same here, I took two dots across to find the two points for this line of plan. So my plan is drawn out without the dots. You can just about see the two vertical lines here and the two horizontal lines. Then I join the diagonals to find that point. Labeling it then, I've highlighted the line of intersection one, two, and I've labeled it in red. So when I brought it up, Here's point one, here's point two. I've labeled the rest of the plane. So I've got one, two, three, and four is one of the planes. This is a little bit tricky to figure out an elevation because when I come up here, the two points are one above the other. To figure that out, here is line one, four in plan. One, four has to be here in elevation. This is line two, three in plan. When I come up, this has to be line two to three. That is my elevation and plan labelled out. For my dihedral angle, again, we'll go back to the uh, oblique plane principles sheet that I gave you. And if I go down through it, I see straight away dihedral angle. I draw an auxiliary elevation at 90 degrees to the line of intersection. And then I draw an auxiliary plan looking along the line of intersection. So auxiliary elevation, auxiliary plan is what I need to draw here. I'm going to draw my auxiliary elevation looking out here at 90 degrees to line 1, 2. I could draw it the opposite direction. It doesn't make any difference, but it seems to work better on the question out here. So I'll project out at 90 degrees to line 1, 2. So project out my lines 1 and 2. And I'll project out the rest of the points. So 5 and 6 line up in the question. Or sorry, um, three and six line up with the question, four and five line up with the question. Project out my XY line. I'll just come out to miss the rest of the drawing. Here's my X1, Y1, and I'll start to project out all my points. Height of point one, it's on the XY line, so when I project out one, it's here. Height of two, here's my height for point two, when I project out. Here's the height of two. So that's my line of intersection, one, two. I project out the height of three. Here's the height for three, which is also the same height as six. Three and six are on the same line. So when I project out three, I get the height of three. When I project out six, it's in the same position because it's the same height. So three and six are in the same place. Likewise, I project out point four. It's on the XY line. Here's point four. I project out point five, it's also on the XY line. So when I project out five, it's in the same position as four. So when I get my two planes, first one is plane one, two, three, four. Here is my first plane drawn in. The second plane is one, two, five, six, and one sits directly in front of the other. Here is my line of intersection. That is a true length. So when I look in at 90 degrees to a line, I get a true length. That is the first part done. I've got my auxiliary elevation drawn. Now I need to draw an auxiliary plan looking along the line 1, 2. That is the next section. I've projected out my line of sight along 1, 2. I need to come off at 90 degrees to that to draw my XY line. So in here, I'll set in my XY line anywhere away from the drawing. It doesn't matter. This is my X2, Y2 line. And all of my points are going to be projected out 
parallel to that first line. So looking along this line, 1, 2, my other points 4 and 5, and 3 and 6. When I finish this drawing, I'm expecting to see just an angle. The two planes should look like two lines that create an angle. So I come along now. I've got my distances. My distances here are quite big. So again, I'm drawing auxiliary plan. I have to measure from plan. I'm working from the previous xy line. At the minute I'm at x2, y2, I work from the previous xy line. So that distance there that I set out for number one is there. It's pretty big. I can reduce that down with the datum line. I don't have to do it. I could reduce it down. So if, it was, if I was struggling for space on the drawing, I could come in here and put in a datum line along here. And I'll do it just to see or to show you how that works. So basically I'm just reducing all the measurements by an equal amount. So I've taken my x1, y1 back in here. As I said, I don't have to do this. It'll just save space on the drawing. Distance for one. From data line to one, I project out one. Distance to two is the same and point two is on the same line. So that gives me a point view of line one, two. Distance to three. Here's my distance to three. When I project out, I strike out point three. Distance to four. Here's my distance to four. Again, project it out. So my line one, two, three, four should form a straight line. That is the edge view of surface one, two, three, four. I come along now and I get the distance for point five. Again, project out, that's where five will be. And point six, project out the distance for six. So that gives me points five and six. And again, the same thing, when I draw it in, it should be a straight line. So five and six, here is my dihedral angle. I label that. Perceive the question. So, <clears throat> projecting auxiliary elevation of the plane on the the x1 y1 line, hence determining indicates in degrees the inclination of the plane A to the horizontal plane. So it sounds complicated. They've given us this x1 y1 line. They're asking us to draw an auxiliary elevation. When I look at the line they're drawing long, here is the line they're drawing long, and when I come up to elevation, that is a horizontal line. So what they're asking us to draw is an auxiliary elevation looking along a horizontal line. That, again, back to our principles, if we keep going back to them, is an edge view of a plane. Here you see it, draw an edge view of a plane, get the inclination of the plane. It's the same thing, edge view gives me the inclination. And you can see, draw auxiliary elevation looking along a horizontal line. So if you're learning off your principles, straight away, as soon as you read that question, you'll be saying, right, auxiliary elevation that shows the inclination of the plane, I need to look along a horizontal line. So it's basically set up for us. Whether you understood the question or not, it wouldn't really matter. I was talking earlier about going off the uh, sheet there, and you can see it's exactly what happened to me. I had to stick on an extra piece of paper here that won't affect it even so. So I'm projecting an auxiliary elevation looking along line 1, 4. I'm going to project out the points. So projecting out points 1, 2, 3, and 4. The XY line in the question was set up at 90 degrees, which it has to be. Here it is set up at 90 degrees. I call that X1, Y1. And then again, height of point 1 is 0. When I come out, here's the height of point 1. Height of 2. Project out the, out the height of point 2. Height of 3. I'm going to project out here is 3. And 4 again is on the xy line. And it should be in the same position as number 1. 1, 4, it's a point view. I'm expecting to see a straight line here. I'm going to make sure it's a straight line. I wouldn't just draw it in randomly, and it is actually working out as a straight line. So I'm looking here. That is my edge view of the plane. It said indicate the inclination of it. Here is my inclination. And I can measure that in degrees with my protractor. So I'll just measure that now. 
angle between the XY line and the plane is 75, 77 degrees. I have it. So that's indicated. Part D is next. Part D is asking us to show where a laser line PQ passes through both planes A and B. So where at the points of intersection where it cuts the two planes A and B. So I've got my line PQ and elevation and plan. I can't see where that cuts through the two planes. The only way I'll ever see where uh, a line cuts through a plane is with the edge view. So for example, I could see here where it cuts through plane one, two, three, four out this side. I could project PQ out into the auxiliary, auxiliary elevation. When I draw it, it'll show where it cuts through PQ. The, sorry, that plane where P through PQ cuts through the plane. I'll do it very quickly, even though it's going to be of no use to me. So I'll project out line to get the height of Q and project out where P is. Height of P from elevation is on the XY line. Here is P. Height of Q was 60 again. Here's the height of Q. So when I come along, here's Q. Join the line PQ. That gives me the point where it cuts through the plane. That's fine, but that's only where it cuts through one of the planes. That's no good to me. I need to see where it cuts through both planes. So in other words, up here is where I'll see it cut through both planes because I've got an edge view of each plane. So this would give me half the answer. This is giving me the full answer. So what it means is I need to project my line PQ into auxiliary elevation and then into auxiliary plan. So I'll do that now. First up, project it into my auxiliary elevation. So here's my line of sight. I project up point P and Q. Height of P, it was zero. So when I come up, P actually sits in the same position as one. It just so happens. It doesn't matter if that doesn't happen on your drawing. Height of Q, here's height of Q. When I come up and strike it off, so I follow up Q and I take it off in the elevation. That gives me my auxiliary elevation of line PQ. And there it is. I need to find that in the auxiliary plan so it's the same thing. Now, this can get a bit confusing because I used a dihedral angle. I still need to use my dihedral angle. So, I'm going to project out points P and Q out into my auxiliary plan. So, again, my line of sight was looking along my red line. Project out P. Project out Q. My distance, again, I'm drawing an auxiliary plan, I have to measure from plan. I was working with the X2, Y2, and I need to go from the previous X, Y line, which is here. But the tricky bit, remember, we put in our datum line earlier. So if I'm taking a measurement, again, for P, it's from datum line to P, like we did with all the other points, I come along and find the position of P. Here's P. My distance to Q, again from datum line out, here's the distance to Q. When I come along, I project out my height for Q. Here is my height for Q. My line PQ cuts the first plane at this point, cuts the second plane at that point. It didn't specifically ask me to project back through my views, so there's no need to do that. That gives me the point where it cuts plane 1, 2, 5, 6, and the point where it cuts plane 1, 2, 3, 4. To find those in the view, so it didn't specifically ask me to do it, if it did. In other words, I've got two points now, I call them just L and M, doesn't matter what labels you give them, those two points are on line PQ. So in other words, it's fairly straightforward now. I can come along, bring back point M onto line PQ here, bring L back. So I've projected them back into the auxiliary elevation. Now I can come along and project them back into the auxiliary plan. So again onto my line PQ, L, M comes back on, here it is, and L. 
So that's the positions of the two points in plan. Back up to elevation then to finish it off. M comes up when it's on the line in elevation. And L when it comes up is here. And that shows my two points in elevation. That is the question completely done.